Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video. I got my hot coffee right here. It's not that hot. It's, e it's either it's either beer or, or coffee. So today I'm pretty excited. I want to share this new little product that I have received in. Very excited to use it and put it to the test. Now, we all know that as motorcycle riders, we are prone to have a few nails or screws puncture our tires and that little air leaking out of the tire little by little kind of sucks until you gotta buy a new tire. Talking about that, why is it that we gotta pay for air? Air should be free. I got this little box right here. So Fantic, this company, they have been building some pretty cool stuff. So yes, they were nice enough to send this out to me. Um, they wanted me to put it to the test, do a little review on it, share it with the motorcycle community, the capability of having this little device on you and not being stranded somewhere. It's pretty cool to me. So here it is, nice little design. It fits in the palm of my hand, which is pretty awesome. Um, few key little factors about this. It says that it can fill up anything to 150 PSI, which is really big. Now, you can also use this for motorcycles, cars, uh, basketballs, and bicycle tires, so a lot of different stuff. In the box, you're gonna be receiving this multi-purpose little bag, which comes with little heads. Depending on what type of tire you're gonna be filling up, there's different stuff that you can have on there. Um, as well, we have the little holes that um, we're gonna connect right now. I wanted to show you guys as I do this. Um, this is pretty cool. And then in the area where I'm screwing this up on top, there's a flashlight, which once we turn it on right now, we'll, uh, we'll illuminate it. It's an LED light. It looks pretty cool. Now, what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna deflate the tire on my Harley Davidson Low Rider S. I'm gonna put this to the test. And I kind of want to time it too. I want to set a timer on my phone, see how long it's gonna take. Um, but we'll go ahead and turn it on. It, it, look, it looks really user friendly to use. So you got a few little buttons right here. We've got the main uh, power button here in the front. Hold that down, it turns on. Um, so this is, I read the instructions, it's pretty easy to use. Um, first things first, we want to do is set up your PSI, right? So for that tire, the PSI volume is 32, so literally, right there you can set up to anything so even if i wanted to go to 33 34 35 36 upwards of that you have that so you have the option to go up or down we'll set it at 32 for now uh, i want to show you guys the light real quick this is pretty cool so that's yeah that's the light it's pretty awesome you press it again and like kind of flashes um press it again and flashes slow press it again it stays Oh, it turns off. <laughs> All right, um, and yeah, and then if you press this mode button here, you're able to change it around. So it has a mode for a bicycle, has a mode for a car, has a mode for a scooter, and a basketball right there, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, let's put this to the test. The holes on top already come set up for the type of nozzle that we're gonna have on my bike. So let's see how easy this thing is to use. Um, I gotta pump this twice, the power button down twice, in order for everything to start inflating. Um, so we'll talk about how noisy it is, how long it's gonna take to fill up this tire, and the capability of this. Um, well, you guys know me, I have bags on my Lowrider as I have bags on my Rogue Glide Special. So like I said before, the size is, like it fits in the palm of your hand. So if you have bags, or if you have like a little bar bag, you can definitely fit that in there and keep it on you. So what we'll do first is that we'll let the air out of the tire. I hope this thing fills up faster than what it deflates. It's actually taking a lot longer than I thought. Now if you're wondering how much PSI should you put on your tires, um, the label is always going to be in the front frame of every Harley Davidson right here and it'll tell you. So for this one's going to be 32 for the front, it's going to be 44 the rear tire. All right, so that's pretty flat right there. Let me just sit on the bike, show you guys. Yeah, it's flat. So we can start connecting our device now. We're screwing this on real quick. I'm excited to do this. I was really excited to do this because this is actually a product that, that's something that I wanted to have. Um, my rear tire actually has a nail in it and Sometimes it loses air. So talking about that dude, we need to get a new rear tire. So at times it does lose air and I catch myself, you know, going to the uh, gas station to get air all the time and paying for air. And I'm like, well, I kind of wish I want to have, I was going to buy something just to have in the garage, like an air pump, but hey, I got this now. So we're nice and screwed in right there. I want to take my phone out and um, I want to set a timer to this. 
see how long it's gonna take to do. We'll turn the device on, hold that down, turns on. Um, set up my PSI, which is gonna be at 32. And then we're just gonna give it two pumps and it should start pumping. Three, five, four, four, five, four, five, five, four, six. It's going up right now. This is actually going a bit faster than what I expected. It's actually a bit noisier than what I expected, but it's an air pump. Two minutes and 40 seconds, and we're at 30 psi. It's pretty impressive. 31 psi. Looks like it shuts off, too. Should shut off on its own. And it did shut off on its own. So 32 psi, stop. One, two. It took three minutes. So I left it there running for two seconds or so. Um, so three minutes to fill this front tire on my Harley Davidson Low Rider S. Um, this thing is impressive. All right, so three minutes to fill that front tire. Um, this thing is amazing. I really, really like it. You guys know how we do on this channel. We always tell the truth about everything. We keep it honest and we keep it 100%. So what do I think about this thing? I think it's pretty awesome. I think the fact that you're able to have access to refill your tires at any time when you're on the road is pretty awesome. And on top of that, you're you're you know your purchase is something that's gonna give you free access to air, and you're not gonna get stranded anywhere. It is battery charged as well, so you can just plug in your USB into there, charge this thing up. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. I like the design of it. I think it, it looks like real techy. I like the fact that it has a light so even if it's dark out You're seeing what you're doing, which is pretty cool So I think they really thought everything out the material on this is pretty like it, it is pretty It feels real well built and everything as well. I literally have no complaints I thought it was gonna be a bit quieter due to the fact that it's so small, but it's an air pump and it's pumping air so I mean Hence, air pumping in and out. I like it and I'm happy that I have this like I said I wanted to have something like this that I could just carry with me on my rides. Now let's talk about the most important thing. I am here to save you money, yes, so I do have a promo code for you. It's gonna be linked down below. It's gonna give you 20% off this little cool little thing right here. And on top of that, there's an extra 5% coupon so you could add it onto that so you're additionally gonna get 25% off. I'm gonna be linking on the link where you can buy it from down below. Um, save yourself some money, save yourself the hassle of being towed away, and Fantic, you have a pretty cool little product right here um that's gonna be it guys if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new videos like motorcycle stuff and reviews and stuff i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace